Magicians, timekeeper gets a crystal ball. You can't say you've forgotten the time. Tempest, you are the timekeeper. You control time, said his brother Lance, who came to visit him for his birthday. I never could remember birthdays, said the timekeeper. Time is different here, out of time, in the halls of time. I believe you, said Lance. I'm not a party animal. Being alone here, said Tempest. I know, laughed Lance. But I can make a cake to share, said Tempest, a cake on a table appearing out of thin air. Nice cake, is it, Mod? By the way, Christine made you a present, said Lance. Oh, nice, said Tempest, hoping it wasn't a cake. Don't worry, it's not a cake, said Lance. Pulling a gift out of thin air. It was round. I wonder, is it a stress ball? Tempest said, guessing excitedly, thinking what his niece was like present-wise. Be patient, you'll love it. Lance said, smiling, giving Tempest the ball. I'm sure I will. Oh, it's solid, Tempest said. He opened the wrapping paper and saw a transparent ball, he smiled. Wow, I always wanted one of these, Tempest said seriously. We thought you would, Lance said, still smiling. Give it a go. I will, said Tempest, transferring his visions to the crystal ball. It worked. They saw people in the ball. It works. Thanks. It looked very excited by the present. I wonder, can I turn up the sound? It appears to be on mute, said Tempest. No, they don't have sound, said the amused Lance. Thinking of his brother trying to get sound out of the crystal ball, which had none, if he had not been told they were quiet, Oh, Tempest said, disappointed by his new toy. You can use it as backup when the pool of time doesn't work, said Lance, looking at the pool of time. Robert's regular method of sorting his visions out. The pool of time had sound. How can it not work? It's just water. Said Tempest. True, said Lance. That was the last time Tempest looked at the crystal wall.